Hey guys, welcome to French Town. And we're playing an in house Anzac Mail community game. It's a balanced game, and I have PGA Fluffy Sensation on my team, and up, ag up against Constantini, Rebounds, and Hansi on the German team. So I'm on the west with the Jeep start, the Gaz, center, uh, PGA, and on the eastern, we see uh, Fluffy. I might just take this off for a sec, and you can see what they're spawning. Rebounds has got an Assault Squad plus singles. I didn't actually notice that when I played him. Hansi in the center with an Assault Squad and some singles from Fluffy. I'm going to turn off the Fog of War um, every now and then just so we can actually see the thinking behind things without um, looking at the what the enemy has so I can tell you what I'm thinking. So I guess it's the first time I'm casting a game of myself playing with replays on. Uh, which should be interesting. So I see rebounds here. He does notice that I had the Jeep. He must have heard it. So he's actually prone to a lot of guys. He didn't actually realize it's coming. So I don't think I can turn it back off. Okay, that's a bug. <coughs> okay, never mind. I turned it off and I can't turn it back um, on. So I did notice PGA, um, sorry, rebound sneaking. And he got got me with the gas. So got a bit lucky that he didn't uh, take the MG out or explode it. So I'm able to salvage that. And in the center we see. I think PJ's got a nice position with the MG. And on the eastern point, sneaky fluffy on the right. Oh, look at this. Bam. I didn't see this. Let's see what happens. Oh, not too bad. He gets the flank, but look, Constantini's all the way behind his back area. So he's got guys all over the place behind. It's funny, and now he's taking the side of uh, Constantini. That was quite funny. AT Rifleman, though. Oh, could have been nasty with a grenade. And he's going to get flanked though by a full assault squad coming down. And there's no reinforcements. Oh, there is. Reinforcements coming. Uh, so Rebounds manages to sneak up again and grenade me. So I underestimated the line of sight. And I just needed to really reinforce it quickly. So obviously just get another assault squad for now. And I'm pressuring this point as well. Just throwing on Molotovs and grenades. Just trying to stop that cap. So my plan is to really hold these three flags. And... Because the team's are balanced, I'm expecting Constantini and Hadley to kind of take their side. So I'm hopefully going to take Rebounds aside. So I'm quite comfortable in the shootout with the Assault Squads, with my PPSHs. So once I got into this position in the stone wall, I was quite happy and secure. And I don't know why my motto threw it over there, but this PPSH did well. Look at the top left. Kill, kill, kill. Uh, Fluffy did get this point. And he's got the stern more well done to him. Constantini is going to struggle to take this without any sort of vehicle. Uh, center though, Hansi's totally ripping PGA apart. Early, uh, I guess, I guess because he went early 61k, couldn't really afford to keep up with the infantry. Getting a bit uh, infested. Hansi's assault squad leader in the backfield. 61k is now in action. Action. Um, hopefully, it can make an impact. Looks like it's not really hitting anything though. Being very inaccurate. I'll try and get closer, it seems. So Lux is on the field for rebounds, and I am just ducking my troops. See this little decline? So I'm getting them down beneath that decline to minimize my losses, and also behind this hill, just to minimize my losses. And I got a PKP. This was before he got a Lux. I was planning to go PKP, then Zedasai 2, but I'm thinking Zedasai 2 will take way too long to get there, so I really need to get something quickly. Uh, this is not my MP guys, I don't know why I choose MP this is showing, but I was going to go a T70, just to quickly um, counter it. So nice early P3 from Hansi as well, easily counters at 61k outright, takes out the T20 tractor first, but PJ is now trying to hide, ah, oh, nice shot by Hansi. Uh, Eastern point, Flak 38 is panning away. Fluffy. Um, so yeah, I've, I've changed my, um, by the way guys, I've changed my perception of this new patch since I've been playing team games. It works horribly in team games. Um, right now, yeah, the out of sync is the biggest problem. Nearly every game we have goes out of sync, including this one, which you'll see. But uh, most of the good gameplay was done by then, so this is actually a good game to watch still. So here's a T60 I'm going with. Uh, yeah, and also another thing is if uh, pings are above 250 ms 
the game slows down to half the speed. There's like a trigger. As soon as it goes like the 260, 270, 280, the game suddenly switches to half the speed. Not talking about delay or lag, talking about game time to real time. So basically at one second in real life is two sec... Uh, sorry, one second in the game is two seconds in real life. Uh, it's a switch, basically. I don't know, I don't know why uh, this was introduced. It's a newly introduced problem. So we have to watch out for pings as well. So you, when you play USA, guys, usually our ping fluctuates to about 250, sometimes on bad days to 300. And then all of a sudden now we can't play with people from USA, which is a bit of a big deal with tournaments. Uh, T60 is loaded my HE shell by the way because uh, fact that T70 will struggle to penetrate the T60 with AP. HE will one shot it if it hits. Um, yeah, that's uh, how to counter it. It's got a pretty shitty gun this T70. Uh, looks doing a good job hiding behind that hill. So I can't really take him out without going close. And these rocks here are actually really annoying which you'll see. I'm trying to go for my PKP. And PKP can't penetrate this unless it's very close on the side. Uh, I'm trying to get a nice uh, HE shell with this. I could hit the turret. It showed me it could, I could hit it, but it just... See, I waited for that PKP to reload because I know the AL would keep firing if I went through and I would have killed myself. So that's uh, kind of missed. I think I hit the ground, that's why I didn't kill him. And hansy has got his P3 as well. So I'm just wary of that. Just going to stay around here, maybe just minimize the losses, minimize the damage. Well, so I still hold this flag because I've got the PKP covering this lane for any guys wanting to come down and cap it. So, so just trying to maneuver, I just want to take out that looks and also I see the P3 coming so I'm just going to kind of use this hill as protection and at the same time try to take out the looks. So it's a bit of maneuvering with handsy and rebounds on me. Whilst uh, on this side we see Fluffy got an LET57 struggling to keep up the marker. You see Constantine just grenading him off the map. And center hands is just also capping it off PGA. So dilemma here still. PKP is down. It's T70 is still in position. I'm going. I'm, I went to an early, uh, I guess early T with a, with the charge unit I just bought, just to give me some infantry superiority. I went a T3476, and this guy should be able to counter P3s outright. P3s will struggle unless he gets a lucky turret shot. So I didn't go the early one this time because I'm fighting a P3 and. I just want to make it sure. So I should be able to um, force this guy to back away. And hopefully I can hold now. The charge unit can start come up, see? Straight away the charge unit runs in. Uh, Hansi, I guess, did the right thing for a risky play. And got to be careful with this uh, T70. In fact, I didn't realize. Because uh, it's actually on a slope. It's actually cheating on my uh, turret. And lucky one of my shock infantry guys grenaded it as well. Uh, so that worked well. That was a bit unlucky. Um, well, lucky that it has a shock trooper there. And unlucky for rebound. But the T70 is alive and kind of angled nicely, as you can see. Shooting me on a nice angle. It's going to be hard to penetrate. It's already sloped as well. Um, so center, we see Hansi with a looks now. And got infantry and Brandenburg is in place. Uh, really, PGA has nothing but this T34. And it's. Just trying to counter the infantry killer, the looks, which is a priority. And he's got the guard's rifle. And backfield guy. Ooh, Hansi sees whatever PGA spawns, interesting. Uh, so T34 takes out the P3 finally. Now T70, oh no. I should have realized that. Should have waited for my charge to go a bit sooner. Because the Brandenburgers are right, obviously. You can see Brandenburgers are everywhere. And I'm just going to mow, mow them down and take advantage now of this situation. I've taken out Hansi's P3, taken out rebounders looks. And... I've killed a couple of Brandenburgers and I'm thinking I'm quite safe to attack. Um, just keeping up with the assault squads as well. Uh, center, T34 is the king, so it's going to start uh, pushing up. Uh, PGA is now pushing up. Because Hansi did lose that uh, Panzer III. And on the eastern point, Fluffy is trying to come back with a charge and some units. So pushing up right now, the PKP pushed all the way back to the front and also my T34. I want to get this uh, low ground and this hill. I'm going to put my T34 on this hill to do 50 50 plays later on. And also cap my guys below this hill. And rebounds, uh, I guess, didn't expect me to come so quick. And he had his side turned uh, when coming out. Because this is basically his spawn, and I think he didn't expect that. So that uh, was unfortunate. So I'm capping this below this hill. You can see. 
It's a very good position, and this one here is also a very good position. If the Panzer III didn't do that, it would have come down this lane and shot me 50-50, but I would have just hid behind the hill and just wait, waited, and it's going to be so hard to root me, root me out. And holding right here, this PKP can hit this flag, flag and also um, in front, so it, it is a very good position I find favourable to, to hold him. And I can hold these three flags quite easily then. I can potentially flag, flank his enemy, or flank his flank rebounds his ally. So T3476 by PJ still alive. I think he's taking that. Did he take out that looks? He did. Yep. Uh, has he still capping the majority? Because uh, really rebounds or so really PJ doesn't have any infantry killers, but he's coming out with the marine squad, which has the potential to push it. Flag 38 Constantini. Fluffy is struggling to really get a foothold. T60. Can be cruel though, but look at the grenades from this area area here. Constantine was able to grenade and just look at all the grenades being thrown in the past. I <laughs> think he's struggling to out maneuver him. But here I've noticed the opportunity right now to just attack. Um Hansi's flank. So this is a 50-50. I had enough MP to replace this tank, so I'm thinking I might as well try. So flank that H quickly. Because I've killed rebounders PG. He has nothing to flank me with, so I'm safe running down this lane. And all that's stopping me is that H, and that H was actually side turned to me, so I had to just finish it off really quickly. So that's a big hit to the enemy, you know, uh, helping your allies that way. 600 MP tank just dead from from nothing. So now coming back to turtle behind my um, little hill, because rebounds may be able to afford something very soon. So I'm just going to prepare for this situation where I can just camp behind this hill. And also right now I'm thinking about the future game. Um, B, I'm thinking I've got a very narrow long straight to a spawn, so I'm going to buy a BS3 and plonk it around there. It's a big long AT gun. Uh, so T60 pushing nicely by Fluffy. See this is the classic infantry killer play. Just needs a bit more infantry further up. Oh, Bazooka, Constantini. Oh no, it's reloading. <laughs> that could have been prevented. Definitely. Ooh. It was uh, PJ noticed the sneaky guy. He's right there, isn't he? Just walks past him. Doesn't notice. And he doesn't move his position though. Uh, so here is a G again. So right now I'm happy to fight it behind this hill. I might need to move this PKP though. So I'm just going to keep pushing, keep keeping the pressure on rebounds. And Hansi's now lost because he lost his P3 and P4H to me. So now PGA is able to just uh, push him off the map. This with superior units and numbers, and the eastern point. So really, it's it's very important to I guess help your opponent when you can, or help your ally when you can, just by little big moments of killing tanks like that, uh, if you can afford to risk it. So G's uh, trying to take me out from far. I know it can't. Some stalling him as well. It doesn't really matter how long. It's 19 apiece. Still pretty close game. Um, Constantine is really wrecking. Um, oh, Brandenburger. <laughs> Guard's rifle. T-34-85. Ooh, this is the big boy. Good tank. Pretty expensive though. 725. And also a uh, partisan squad. So having trouble. Constantini's actually in positions all over the place and it's going to be hard for Mr. Fluffy to route him out. Still doesn't notice that uh, sneaky guy at the backfield. Uh, looks on the field. PJ has very little... Um, ooh, 80 grenade. Uh, anti-tank or any vehicles on the field for some reason. Don't know why. There's gone the guard's rifle though. Oh sorry, the red guards. And yeah, right now this is the BS3s on the field. I put placed it here just to shoot down that straight and this is going to prove to be very hard for rebounds to advance now unless he gets some sort of artillery. So he's trying to maneuver I think underneath the building areas. Or well, he's trying to far shot me. And I'm going to just take advantage of that with this guy. Try to take a lucky turret shot at the same time while this is reloading. And now selecting this to take another shot from afar. Boom. Uh, center point. Still PGA. His hand is having a okay time, I guess. Resupplying a little circle. And uh, over here, T T four eighty five. This thing is really sneaking behind the field. Look at the Brandenburger. There, there. 
There's no line of sight whatsoever with Fluffy. This this line is pretty pretty bad right now. Easy flank potentially. Wow. Is that guy spotted? No, he's actually firing at these guys, but this guy was in the way. So potential for this 85 to die. I'm waiting for it. Uh, over here, my little sneaky rifleman backfield spots these guys. And I'm turning my... Um, I think that rebounds G actually maneuvered all the way around. That's pretty impressive. So I'm having struggling... See, he's got a little mound there as well. And I'm struggling to hit behind it. And let's see this Brandenburger. Oh, oh, here it goes. Here it is. Here it is, Constantini. Oh, what are you doing? Go into direct control. Oh, fail, Constantini. You fail. You fail. Um, so PJ's using this hill. This is what I love about R R6 map packs. They have interesting terrain all over the map, which you can just use, you can just play it smart sometimes. Like it's not just a frontal shootout, running to the flag, bam, 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 in the front, I by counter, you by counter. No, there's interesting terrain all over the map. There's some little little nuances everywhere that you can um, you could pick up. Even that tiny hill right there, it makes a big difference to everything. So I'm gonna go for it because I know it's main gun, and I'm pretty sure rebounds can't afford any counter right now. Hansi's got a P3 all the way up here, so I wasn't too afraid. Just use this hill to guard, so you can't shoot me as well. They're going for the kill, and now I can fight the P3. Uh, angled T34 will bounce a lot of shots from P3s. Let's see what happens. See, that was angled front. Hansi was typing raging then, but that, that wouldn't have penetrated the total angle. The angles on T34 is too good. So, <laughs> And right now, Hansi's raging like anything. Um, yeah, sorry guys, but this is a just a good example of flanking, I suppose. Right, right time. You probably think it's full of shit, but this is the only team game I can upload that we had played recently that worked. So um, it's pretty cool. Bandy, uh, we got sunflowers. Bam! Constantini's the. So this T-34 has killed um, many things. It's killed... What did it kill? It killed a Panzer III, a Lux, a G, another G, a Panzer III, and then a Stuh. So it's freaking... Uh, what do you call that? Oh, what's the, the Order of Lenin? Far out. No, it's not. That's the bloody uh, hero of the Soviet Union, that's for sure. T-60. So I'm going to clean up, because I know he's lost that uh, P PG and the P-3. Uh, all I'm afraid of now is the Veteran Tiger, because my BS3 is pretty much uh, king of the field till then. Another three on the field. Not too afraid, just going to try escape behind that hill, and then flank the center. That's what I'm going to try to do, but he got a track, so that's too bad. Just missed. If I just went a bit further, that shot missed, would have escaped, then I would have taken out all of Hansi's uh, campers. And well, potentially go Brandenburger, but wow, this KV2 is so close, PGA. Unbelievable, what is it doing? So close. It's got bloody. What? He's using it as a support tank. He's crazy, man. Um, wow, okay. Looks like another Brand a Brandenburger must have got him. And Fluffy's trying to push on now with a T60. Good on him. And right now, P3. So this is a pretty good. See, Rebounds is able to maneuver. I think there's a little hill there makes it hard to hit. He managed to get to this hill, so it's really good use of terrain by rebounds. And I'm struggling to take it out. I heard a Brandenburger. I think it bounced. <laughs> bounced in that KV, I'm pretty sure. Wow. Pete, look, Constantine still is the guy right there. Uh, T60 is on his own though, with no line of sight. Nothing. At, uh, why are these guys crawling? Oh, they're not crawling anymore. That's good. Uh, being repaired though, um, what's in the center? P3 buy from from Hansi. Can it do? The um, PGA's sorry, Eban's trying to fire shot me. Just waiting. P3 T60. Oh, God's rifle! He doesn't doesn't know. What's that doing? This guy has an AT grenade. Oh man. Fluffy. Oh, it's on hold fire or something. That's unfortunate. Bam. Handy gets his T60. 
and this guy doesn't want to take him out for some reason. Uh, nice safety shell for Mr. Rebounds. So um, I, I bought a, this MG there as well just to annoy him. It's cheap. And I had, I had all the time in the world holding. I was comfortable that this position will hold with that uh, PKP, BS3 and the T34. So I thought why not just put an MG there just to annoy him even more. Um, BS3, just wait. Just trying to get it. Because when it pops out a little bit I can take it out. But it's a very, very hard shot to make. Uh, using this uh, this um, fallen branch as cover right now, so that HE can't get to it. Uh, sneaky guy, I'm trying to sneak some. I bought a saboteur, Spetsnaz, by the way. I, I've only got one special. I had no special points to left, by the way. This is not my MP. I don't know whose MP this is. Uh, but Spetsnaz left and onto the right. Another guy, I think, right here. I'm gonna try uh, sneak on that. Sneak up on that unit. You get two of those, by the way, now, Spitzness, um, for your information. So he's wasting on him, I guess, Micro, just holding the point, I'm happy. Uh, right side is now progressing, with the 85 repaired. No, it's a different 85. That 85 is repaired as well, it's just not in it. Uh, silly Fluffy. As um, PJ has got this flag as well. What's he got? So he got a flak 37. It's just getting repaired. Hmm, he's, he's got nothing to counter this. I don't know how much MP he has. Maybe he's waiting for the veteran tiger. And over in the center. KV2 still holding. Wow. <laughs> Explosion hits that uh, Goliath on the side. Oh, here comes rebounds being very aggressive. I think, what's my BS3 doing? Oh, it's on hold fire, that's why. So I'm just trying to take it out. I think it gets me. I miss it. It's got a faster reload rate. Yeah, it hits my crew. Don't have anything. Decent 50 from uh, rebounds. But, uh, no. Could have run it over. That was uh, worth, worth the risk, in my opinion, from rebounds. Just didn't uh, pay off. So, we still have Concertini. Got nothing to really assault the point. Sent the PJ T60 is behind the line, so they're totally just destroying them. Really, uh, the reason the other guys are able to go nuts because they've just lost too many units. The stu, the H, the P3. It's just an, an econ economy game, I think, at that end. That's, you can't afford a counter for PGA's units now, so that's why it's quite important to try flank when you can. And help your enemy in those big battles. I think really infantry wise, not too much. It's it's more so really take out the big units when you have the counter for them. And rebounds is the veteran tiger. Um, in my opinion, shouldn't be scared of the BS3. Can quite easily take uh, be immune in angled. But he saw that uh, my bush is moving. I tried to sneak up this guy to get a lucky molotov. We didn't have an AT grenade, just a molotov. So. Um, I was okay, I guess it stalled him a bit, the points are ticking to our favour greatly, I'll just wait. But the veteran target has potential to steamroll me. Uh, but right now I have about a thousand, I can afford an IS-2 by the way, um, so I'm not too too phased. <laughs> this is one of the unique games in fact where I actually can afford an IS-2 or a King Tiger or whatever heavy MP unit, because I haven't lost shit. The only unit I've lost was the T-3476 which I charged down the lane, that's it. That's pretty much it and it's very rare in these Anzac balance games where the players are so good where well, you can do that. I had a very lucky game by the way. Uh, all my plans did did actually work out. Um, some of them were 50-50 but some of them I think were, were good plans that's why they did work out. KV2 oh, PGA is going to the right. Oh there's so many red dots on the map. What's here? Handsy behind the bushes. Okay, didn't see this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Bad luck to Hansi. Oh, I would have probably waited. Got too keen, in my opinion. This weight hit that part there. It actually, I think it hit there in the turret. It hit the turret, so it actually killed the guys in the turret, but that's it. Um, 
Oh well, kind of unfortunate, I guess. He's another one though. Oh, he's got the Faust still. This is Constantini's. Let's see what's happening right now. Onto the eastern point, we see the flag. Oh, Fluffy Sensation stolen the flag. H from Mr. Con uh, Hansi. Uh, Brandenburg is still not moving. Charging PGA Partisans. Um, oh, Panzerwerfer. Interesting. Not sure about that. Bye. But uh, yeah, we'll dispatch that quite easily. I would have probably got a st uh, I guess Veteran Tiger is always a good buy if you had the money. Yeah, I would have just pushed up with the Veteran Tiger, in my opinion. Would have just blitzed everything. BS3 is not a counter to the Veteran Tiger anymore unless it's really close. Uh, wow, how close is this? Boom. TT476, Constantini repaired it. This is my one. Sorry, Fluffy. <laughs> is he unit against me? Against you? My unit against, uh, against you? Tracked in a... Oh, main gun! <laughs> that was main gun by the flak, by the way. Um, that's pretty funny. KV, 85, should be able to push through. Lots of, um, backfield units by both players. BS3 was taken out by the Venom Tiger. Nicely played and out of sync. So there it goes, guys. Um, good game. I'll see you around.